In our last podcast, we addressed the need for a major realignment of the I-95-I-195 interchange, a 12-year construction project now known as the I-Way. There are many developments that people did not see at the beginning of the project, like the acquisition of almost 80 properties on both sides of the Providence River, along with the successful relocation of those businesses. Several major utilities were relocated as well, including a 136,000 barrel oil tank and 30,000 feet of electrical ducts, gas mains, and high voltage lines. Then there are developments people will see as construction progresses, such as the new stretch of highway on the east side of the Providence River, the new signature bridge with its three distinct arches, improvements to India Point Park and the new pedestrian bridge, and the new ramps on the west side of the river, which are easily visible heading north or south on I-95. However, the most important developments will not be seen until the highway's completion, new bridges and improved safety and traffic flow overall. The smooth experience of well-positioned on and off ramps and easy access to downtown Providence, the hospitals and the jewelry district is what matters most to all of us driving through the area. Right now, heading north on I-95 from I-195 is, at best, challenging for motorists, who must bear right at the split, then navigate immediately to the left lanes in order to merge with 95. Otherwise, they're led directly and almost immediately onto the exit ramp for Broadway. The new ramp will also feature a split, but this time, it will connect drivers farther to the south, where they will avoid having to immediately maneuver around other motorists taking the Broadway exit, giving them much more time and distance to safely merge with 95 overall. Heading south on I-95 from I-195 presents a similar challenge for motorists. Today, drivers bear left at the split and then must cross up to four lanes of traffic within a few hundred yards to exit for Eddy Street or Allens Avenue and direct access to the hospitals. The new ramp from I-195 to I-95 South will feature a long and straight stretch of road that eventually merges on the right side of the highway and will provide a direct exit for the hospitals along the way, a safer alternative that requires almost no lane changes. But the biggest ramp change planned for motorists may be the new access to I-195 East from I-95 South. Currently, Drivers heading south must cross multiple lanes to access the split's sharp left-hand exit. The new access ramp will begin prior to the Point Street overpass as a right-hand exit, pass under Point Street, and then arc high above the highway and other ramps, and travel on the new signature bridge towards East Providence and Massachusetts. Meanwhile, hospital access from I-95 South will become much simpler. A new exit ramp will connect directly to the hospital area from the highway just north of the Point Street overpass. Drivers taking the ramp can either turn right toward the hospital parking lots or continue onto Eddy Street. In our next podcast, we'll show key preparations for construction of the signature bridge and its assembly at Quonset Point. Stay tuned.